you know, it's going to be a nice sunny day, though, and, and temperatures as they warm up quickly will uh, dissipate any kind of fog that is out there. And we're going to find our way actually all the way up to about 90 by 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. So things ramp up in a hurry, and you can see between now and even uh, even just 10 o'clock, we may be warming about 15 degrees. So if you're not getting outside earlier on, it's going to feel a lot different out there. 64 current temperature with a dew point of 57. That's the nice factor in our weather there. Those dew points which are on the lower ends, at least for now, we're actually going to see humidity increase later this afternoon too. Clouds are almost non-existent, just a few drifting through the area at this time, but we're watching more closely to our west and really to our north as well is this low pressure system and a cold front. This front's going to continue to move in our direction and it will be over our heads as we get overnight tonight. And that actually will allow for the chance for some storms, but not until we get to those overnight hours. Temperatures to the west, a bit warmer right now, sitting in the 70s, opposed to our 60s here in central Indiana, and dew points also are higher out there too, with uh, those mid 60s to even uh, low 70 kind of a sticky uh, feel out there. So that's what we're watching at least as we get into the afternoon for one of the changes in our weather. But on top of that, as mentioned, we warm up quite a bit and we'll find our way up to about 90. And it'll probably be the biggest change today. Now, later this week, the bigger change overall is going to be that we actually dry out. A lot of these weeks we've had that humidity stayed high, but we're actually going to be in that comfortable zone basically Wednesday through the end of the week, even though we have a little bit of humidity to start things off. So we have that to look forward to. We're also looking forward to perhaps the chance at some rain, and we really, really need it. So here's a look at CBS4 Future View. At 9 o'clock, we're looking at a, a pretty dry day as a whole. This is our sunset. But once we get overnight, that's when the chance for some storms to develop will begin to present itself. And these storms, I do believe, may develop a little bit farther north than what you're seeing here on CBS4 Future View. But they're going to continue to move from north to south as that cold front begins to come through. The good news is that because they're overnight by the morning, they'll be out of here. But there could be a couple stronger ones, and it wouldn't surprise me if uh, we do see some isolated large hail or some isolated uh, strong wind gusts. Tuesday, though, because they're out in the earlier morning, we just have plenty of sun, and again, that will actually be a very comfortable day. But if we don't see the rain come overnight, we have to worry about, gee, when will the next time we see rain be? And as you can see, with temperatures that are going to be in the, uh, the 80s and even up to 90, we're going to need it, but we might not get it until we get even into the later part of the weekend. So uh, certainly a lot in the way of uh, dry weather and something we'll be watching very closely, Justin, is again, when do we get those rain chances? Yeah, we really we need do it. need it. But yeah, man, doesn't do. it sound so Midwest to say like, oh, it's really nice out if it weren't for the humidity. That's right. You know, it's yes. the humidity that will get you. That's right. Good pool man. days, though, as you yes, mentioned before. Yes, definitely 